Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen? No Zoom for you here, and today we are going to talk about the airship escort mode. Uh, this is actually the second recording I've made of this. I did one yesterday, fully anticipating on hitting the publish button and putting it out there, but uh, I did something that I have not done in over five years of content production. I did my recording in Audacity, which is the program I use, and at the very end of it, I cut the program, or excuse me, I cut the audio, my audio, speaking for 10 whole minutes, and I deleted it. And I could not get it back. So I pasted over it with like a two second blip or something, I don't know. But I gave up after last night, I got kind of ticked off and said, screw it, I'll wait till the next day. And today's the next day, so I'm doing this recording. So, enough about that little uh, diatribe. Let's talk about airship escort mode and why Wargaming has finally provided us, or me, with something I'm actually enjoying right now. Now, this isn't the first time we've seen this game mode. We had it about a year ago. Um, actually, I think it was right around this exact same time frame. And I, I don't remember much about it for some reason. I, I don't think I've played it that often. But right now, I've been really starved for new game modes and game modes that I actually enjoy. And I know we've got Brawls out there right now. Uh, we've got Ranked, and I'm just sick and tired of both of those. And random gameplay as well. Unless I'm grinding missions, and if I'm grinding missions, I really hate rank or uh, I, I really hate random gameplay even more because it's just even that much more monotonous when you're doing it just for the sake of doing it. But airship escort, I'm I'm enjoying a lot. And if you haven't played this game mode yet and you didn't play it a year ago, it's a very simple premise. Each team has an airship or a Zeppelin, or a blimp, or whatever the hell you want to call it, and they follow a predetermined mirrored path throughout the map. Try to get from point A to point B, which happens to be like a docking station. There is a circle around these blimps, and you want to get in that circle. By getting in that circle, you move the blimp forward. If you're out of the circle, the blimp doesn't move. So the goal is ultimately to beat the other team and to get your blimp to the docking station first or eliminate the enemy team. And most of the matches I've seen, uh, eliminating the enemy team seems to be what happens most. And in fact, I haven't seen an airship dock yet in this iteration of the game. And that's fine by me. I mean, I'm not upset about that whatsoever because I like this game mode. And the reason why I like this game mode so much is it forces players to fight. It forces players to get into the mix. And even if players are standoffish and don't want to, uh, you generally spawn so close to the enemy or the path of the airship that inevitably you're going to get spotted and you're going to get either focused or you're going to be forced to fight. So right now, this game mode, I, I think, is a lot of fun for that aspect. It, it's forcing teamwork, which is something this game sometimes really, really misses out on. And it, it's... In general, just fun, too, because of the craziness. I, I mean, you were thrown into a Thunderdome, and just all sorts of, you know, shells flying all over the place. It's fun. It's really fun. But this this begs the bigger question as to why Wargaming and Warships has been so slow to add these new types of game modes. I mean, the, the obvious reason is that these don't bring in money. And, and again, this is a profit-driven game. It's, it's a lot more profitable to spit out new gimmicky ship lines like U.S. hybrid battleships that force players to spend doubloons and everything else. But let's face it, a new game mode like this does not add profitability, profitability to the game. Unless, of course, you're buying new ships that you think might be good in this game mode. And the unfortunate thing is this is probably going to disappear at some time. I, I haven't read the news or anything regarding whether it will or won't. I'm sure some of you are keeping abreast of that more than I am. But I'd much rather prefer this stay in the game. I don't even like the fact that I have to wait till I think, 11 a.m. Eastern to play this game mode. I mean, fill it up with bots or something. Give me the ability to play it 24-7 if I want. I'm enjoying it right now. And from what other players are saying, they're enjoying it as well. I mean, this this has kind of rejuvenated things for a lot of players. They think it's a fun game mode. But the problem is, Wargaming does this a lot. They introduce a new game mode that players like a lot, like uh, Torpedo Jousting, 
uh, all those one-off games during certain times of year, and then they disappear a month later, and players are left starving for something they actually enjoy. And I, I know brawls are there, but I, I don't enjoy brawls. Brawls too often seem too much like random battles, no matter how hard they try. Uh, ranked, uh, let's face it, are you really playing ranked to rank out? No, you're playing ranked sprints to get steel, and if you happen to rank out as a result of that, then, you know, more power to you. If you don't, you just wait for the next sprint to start so you can get more steel. But there's no joy in it. I mean, it, it feels more like, again, a chore going through the motions. And random, I don't want to get into that. Random's just, at, at this point, it, it becomes, uh, especially with submarines, and just everything going on, it, it's just not that fun. But Airship uh, Escort, it is fun. And I wish Wargaming would spend more time focusing uh, on game modes like this. I, I've suggested new game modes in the past, several years ago, actually. Um, things that can get players excited about it. But again, this, this is just more of Wargaming not trying to keep the veteran players into the game by providing them with new game modes. It's focusing on new players because... You know, they're not adding these game modes permanently. They're just farming um, doubloons and money right now for quick and easy profit rather than keep longtime veteran players in the game. And as I said, you know, I, I know a lot of players that have reached out to me and they're enjoying this game mode a lot. It's a lot of fun. Um, at least I'm enjoying it a lot. They're, the players that have reached out to me are. And they said they wish this would stay in longer or permanently. And even those that have kind of shunned the game for a while have tried it and they've enjoyed it. But, alas, Wargaming is going to Wargame and, you know, this will be gone, I'm sure, at some point. And we're going to be stuck again with random battles and everything else that just really gnaw at my soul. I mean, this, this game mode has uh, found me playing this game more recently than I've played in a while. And also, possibly, because I've got the... Uh, uh, the highest amount of camouflage I can get uh, on uh, Call of Duty, uh, you know, the Orion camouflage. So, the grind there is kind of over, but I, I don't like grinding in warships. I, you know, I've invested too much time in the past to be fussed with that at the moment, so I'm looking for new things to play in this game, and, and Airship Escort has provided it. So, my advice to you, Wargaming... World of Warships, capitalize off this game mode. I mean, realize that players are enjoying this. Understand players are enjoying this. And create more of it. Because by doing so, you're getting your veteran players to get back into the game. You're retaining them as well. And I know you might not care about them as much as you used to, but they're the ones that are going to stick around. They're generally the ones that are, are the whales that have the deep pockets to spend. Yeah, I, I imagine you're probably getting some off new players, but, you know, are they going to be here a year or two? I don't know. Who knows at this point? I do. Like I said, Wargaming is going to Wargame. Uh, anyhow, my recommendation for this game mode, I you know, try different ships out. I, I'm enjoying Minotaur a lot. I've seen a lot of people have good success with Destroyers just because you can fling Torps up the middle and bound to hit something every now and then um I, I've, I've even had fairly well uh fairly good luck with my sherman enjoy that a lot i mean there there are a lot of ways to play this game mode and a lot of ways to have fun in this game mode uh you don't limit to your don't limit yourself to only one ship style i mean i've, I've even seen submarines get in the mix though with limited luck uh fortunately because again i think you all know my stance on submarines but in all I, I'm happy to see this game mode. Really happy it's here right now. Upset because I know that Wargaming is not going to capitalize on this. I know they're not going to take this win and move forward and create more wins with it. It's just going to fizzle out like everything always does in this game. But I want to know your thoughts on Airship Escort. Do you, do you like this game mode? Are you enjoying this game mode? Do you wish it would stick around? Do you want to see more of this? Let me know in the comments of this video. I am interesting. Uh, I'm interesting. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. Uh, I'm interested to see your takes on this. I want to know what you think about this game mode and uh, what you think Wargaming should implement into the game to keep things going. Uh, anyhow, take it easy. Hope you all are doing great. Zoop out.